so hello guys welcome back to my channel you're welcome if you've not subscribed please do wait to subscribe to my channel for more family life content so guys this was a baby that left home for school really healthy really happy and he went to school to catch a cold yes so i dressed him up for school and then we left later that evening my baby came home he was sleeping i was thinking that maybe okay he's tired and let me just allow him to sleep this guy slept for hours like i was even wondering what was wrong i never knew that my baby was running temperature like guys i didn't sleep all night because this baby was just awake crying coughing like kata was coming out from his nose he was coughing seriously all throughout the night i have to wake up by 1 a.m in the night only for me to touch him like this guy is burning ah i was even thinking that god what am i going to do only for me to check i still have a um, paracetamol at home so i gave him for a year that did not work like my mind was not at rest at all like my baby was burning up last night this boy was born so as early as to seven i quickly woke up this morning and i said we're going to go to the hospital so we left this early for the hospital and guys i am not myself so because of the situation on ground last night we have to go to the hospital as early as to seven but fortunately when we got there they were handing over to people on morning shift so we have to wait patiently so when they finish handing over they are there to ask us to go and see the doctor so we immediately saw the doctor the doctor immediately asked him to give him this uh, injection because his temperature was very high so after everything the test and everything we started going back home they have to place him on injections and um, drugs to tell you how serious this thing was like his temperature is really really high that the doctor have to place him on both injections and um, and drugs together so these are the drugs that the doctor gave to us these are the ones that i asked me to give alongside with the injection that he's taking like guys the antibiotics that i prescribed for him and then he also gave him this um, b complex which is very good and he also advised that i should start giving him antibiotics like sorry vitamins when he's going to school and also i should try as i can to introduce fruits and veggies to him also i've been doing that because i can and then so he also gave us um this one also for the fever. I think this is for fever now. Yeah, this just is for fever. And then this cough um, syrup. So these are the drugs that I give to us guys. Like I'm not I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. This HMO has been a life saver to us. Because since we started um um since we started using our HMO, like guys, it has been a life saver. When it comes to health assurance, we are covered. And I thank the government for this privilege. Because if I should go to the pharmacy to get all these drugs, I know how much with the injections, I know how much I would have spent this morning. So when we get home that evening, I immediately cook something for them. I have to boil potato, add a little bit of oil so the kids can eat because I really left very, very early and I needed him to eat so I can give him all his drawers. So after he had finished eating, I gave him the drawers one after the other. So guys, that is it for today's video. Please wish my son a quick recovery. I love you guys and thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Bye.